It was late June, and I found myself filling my pack once again for yet another journey into the backcountry. This time, I'd be making my way to the Absaroka Beartooth Wilderness in south central Montana along the Wyoming border. Two friends and myself would be hiking 28 miles along the beaten path trail, starting off in Cook City and working our way to Rosebud Lake. short flight from my home state of Minnesota to the rugged and wild landscape of Montana. I was barely in the air before touching down on the runway in the city of Billings. We made our way along the Beartooth Highway and as we climbed in elevation, the landscape began to open up, revealing the terrain which would soon be under our hiking boots. Getting to the trailhead proved to be harder than anticipated, but we pressed on. This trail would normally take two to three days for an experienced tiger to complete. But we are going to take seven and really take time to breathe everything in. As the sun began to set and darkness grew below the canopy of the trees, we searched for a place to rest our heads and soon found a place that would suit our needs.
Okay, so it's day two out on the beaten path trail. We only went about an hour yesterday, about a mile and a half into, what is this, Kersey Lake? Kersey. Kersey? Kersey Lake. So we're in Kersey Lake right now, made camp there. We got going pretty late, um, didn't get on the trail till about like seven-ish, so we only had about an hour of daylight before we wanted to make camp quick. But as you can see, the mosquitoes are awful and horrendous. So right now we're packing up camp. Um, Chase and I are gonna continue northeast down the trail and not sure where we're gonna camp yet. We're just gonna kind of see how the day goes and then find some place cool. And then later on, so Daniel's hiking out today. He's gonna meet up with us on the, he's gonna come from the northeast side out of Rosebud and meet up with us on Friday. To, actually, to camp with us for a couple days and then he's gonna hike out with us and then we're gonna get on out of here. So that's just kind of an update what we got going so far. See you man. Have a good one. Later. And then there were two. Day two was our first full day on trail. I was eager and filled with excitement. We had a long day ahead of us, but I knew the reward would be worth it in the end. The further we descended into the wilderness, the more beautiful the scenery became. I was in absolute awe. After a few hours, Chase and I stopped for a quick lunch along the ruins of a boulder field. A little further up trail and at the top of the falls, we arrived at Russell Lake, our home for the night. Diverging from the path and dropping into a ravine, we navigated an intricate network of crisscrossing creeks and streams. Tucked in between these streams lay plots of lands with remnants of fire pits from hikers pass. Not a bad spot to set up camp. After setting up camp, we began exploring around the lake and came to a narrow waterfall tucked away in the trees. I could have sat there for hours just listening to the falls, but the mosquitoes eventually won.
We returned to camp and built a fire, prepared ourselves for tomorrow's hike as we traversed the Beartooth Plateau. Day three would mark the crux of our entire journey. As we ascended higher into the Beartooths and began traversing across the Beartooth Plateau, we came across our first section of water crossings. It was early season for this trail. Water was high and snow was still present at higher elevations, making it difficult to traverse the landscape.
Chase and I spent our fourth day perched at the top of Impasse Falls. We sat alongside the river, listening to its flow, feeling the cool air on our faces, and letting our feet soak in those icy, almost healing waters. We spoke of previous trips, the places we had been, and the things we had seen along those other trails. I was happy to be sharing this experience with a friend. We spent that night listening to the crackling of the fire, the chirping of the crickets, and the rush of the falling water. It wasn't long and I eventually drifted off to sleep. Tomorrow we continue on trail. Our path was now dropping in elevation. The further we descended, the more relentless the mosquitoes became. A few miles from Duggan Lake, we were welcomed by the incredible panoramic views of Lake It Falls, a gorgeous alpine lake sourced by several waterfalls dropping down from above off the jagged peaks surrounding the lake. Continuing north, the trail transformed from rock to dirt and then back to rock. The mountains barely seemed to move and the switchbacks never disappointed. We would soon have our first views of Rainbow Lake. from the tree line, we found ourselves in a meadow that almost seemed out of place in this dense, thick wilderness. Sitting just off the shoreline of Rainbow Lake, it's where we'd make camp for the next couple days as we awaited for Daniel to meet back up with us.
It was day six and around one o'clock in the afternoon when Daniel first appeared from underneath the tree canopy. He had begun hiking early that morning from Rosebud Lake and after ascending several switchbacks, crossing several rivers, and trudging through mosquito infested forests, Daniel finally found us in our isolated meadow. What? With storm clouds overtaking the mountain peaks above, we quickly set up his camp, sat underneath our individual rain tarps, and listened to the pitter patter of the raindrops. By mid afternoon, the rain had stopped and the skies had cleared. We began exploring around the lake, and Daniel took some time to do a little fly fishing. seven miles to go to the trailhead and a cloud-covered sky above, we set off on our final day, leaving Rainbow Lake behind us. After crossing a wooden bridge, we ascended several switchbacks and were rewarded at the top with an incredible view of Rimrock Lake. The path continued on, cut into the cliffside and wrapping around a bend, revealing the prodigious gorge we would soon descend through. Mm -hmm. Following Rosebud Creek, we were descending quickly in elevation. The rushing water echoed off the granite walls of the Beartooths, carrying its roar throughout the entire gorge.
As we neared the end of our journey, we got our first look at East Rosebud Lake. Cabins scattering the shoreline signified our departure from the backcountry. This was genuinely one of the most scenic trails I have ever hiked. Taking our final steps on trail, I began to reflect on the experience we had and the memories made along the way. Thank you.